in this video we're gonna learn that uh, how to record a purchase return or vendor credit memo in Sage 50 we have a scenario that for example uh, in the previous videos we order some items from red ferry and uh, when we receive some of the item for example we order 20 pieces of keyboard and when our storekeeper he checked that five pieces of keyboard is not working is broken or the stock is not as per our call uh, our quality so in that case what we are doing we are returning those item back to red ferry to our supplier so this is what a purchase return or vendor credit memos so how to record how to book that purchase return or vendor credit memo in stage 50 so first step is that you need to go in the task in the task we have this option vendor credit memos maximize it so first you need to select the vendor id that is red ferry that is a credit due date let's suppose that is of uh, the next let's suppose on 16th of september and that is the due date when they need to deliver us let's suppose uh, they need to deliver within six or seven days and you can give a credit number a credit memo number let's suppose it is 7878 and you can select the quantity here the quantity let's suppose it is that is five pieces of keyboard assume it enter use the right arrow and that is keyboard enter that is a description enter the GL account that is inventory account enter and that is the unit price enter and that is the amount so right now we are just returning five pieces of keyboard which are not working which are damaged okay so that is the total amount of the purchase return the credit that is 150 so this amount either you need to receive these items from the red ferry or maybe you're asking for the refund so look at the balance right now for the red ferry it is zero so save it so this is a process when you are recording a purchase return or a vendor credit memo when that invoice is closed this is what purchase return or vendor credit memo when invoice is closed so save it and I want to check the ledger report right now so go in the reports and form accounts payable that is vendor ledgers click on option change the period select the vendor ID red ferry and press ok so it was zero and then we record this purchase return so that is 150 so the balance is negative 150 so this negative means that we need to receive this amount from our supplier from our vendor red ferry so that is how you will record the purchase return or vendor credit memo when invoices are closed